So far we have discussed different kinds of games so it might be a good time to stop and look back what are the things that we have discussed and what are the things that we are going to discuss next. So games broadly can be divided into two types non-cooperative games and cooperative games. So we, have, uh, we haven't uh, discussed anything about cooperative games and we will not do that in this course. So these are those kind of games where uh, the utilities are defined not only on individual players, of course there are utilities on, on players, but also there are utilities or values defined on a coalition. So coalition is a collection of uh, individuals and because uh, the it is assumed that multiple players can cooperate, uh, the the properties that we uh, really need for cooperative games is slightly different from the non-cooperative setting. So in this course we are going to only focus on the non-cooperative games and uh, that is what we have started with. We have first look, looked at the, the types of games which we call the complete information game. I am coming in a minute what we mean by complete and what is the difference within complete information. And within that complete information uh, setup, we have uh, looked at two different representations of games. One is the normal form, the other one is the extensive form. The normal form representation is more appropriate for simultaneous move games and the equilibrium concepts are different, while for uh, extensive form, form games, uh, it is more appropriate for multiple stage games and the equilibrium are slightly different. Now, from this module onwards, we are going to discuss what is known as incomplete information game. So even though in the uh, in the previous examples, uh, be it perfect information or imperfect information, uh, the players actually knew which game they are playing. They might not observe certain states of the game, but they they were sure they were at least knew what is the game tree or the game matrix, etc. In the incomplete information setting, we are actually going to relax that. We are going to say that players do not deterministically know which game they are playing. They might have a probabilistic belief about which game they are playing, uh, but this, uh, this being probabilistic, that is actually bringing in the incomplete part in their information. There are several other types of games like repeated games, stochastic games, which we are not going to discuss here. So, as we said, the, uh, the complete information setting that we have discussed so far, players deterministically know that the game that they are playing. Um, but in the incomplete uh, information setting, uh, they do not really know which game they are playing. So, we will we'll soon give an example which will make this, uh, make this clear. Uh, sometimes uh, we are going to refer to uh, some of this uh, information. So, let's say uh, uh, why it is incomplete. Of course, there is some information that is available to each of these players and this information is essentially private information which we are going to call their types. And um, in particular in this, uh, in this uh, discussion, we will be focusing only on one special subclass of this incomplete information games which are known as Bayesian games. Uh, as the term Bayesian says that you have some sort of a prior distribution and uh, based on that and your own uh, information about your own type, you have a Bayesian belief about the uh, other player's types. So let's look at the example which will make things much more uh, easy to follow. So let's look at one soccer game and there are two competing teams which are planning to play against each other. Now each of these game, uh, th these teams can choose a game plan. So game plan is something like uh, their plan, how they are going to play, whether they are going to play aggressively. So that means they are aiming to win. Let's call this is an aggressive uh, style of playing, aggressive type of playing, or they are aiming to draw, which is a little passive type of uh, game plan. And both these things, uh, whether they are, they are planning to play aggressively or planning to play passively is essentially what their type is. So this player has an aggress aggressive type or this uh, player has a passive type where the players are these competing teams. Now this, what is known to them is whether they are playing aggressively or passively. So this, is, uh, this means that these private signals uh, are known deterministically to them. 
and this could be often caused by certain external factors for instance if the weather condition is favorable maybe they are playing aggressive if they have player uh, some of these key players who are injured then possibly they are forced to play passively but all this information is privately known only to them and that de uh, decides how they are going to play in the actual game so uh, the the utilities as we will see will be actually dependent on which kind of types they choose so let's uh, use this uh, uh, shorthand for for uh, aiming to win as w that is the aggressive type as w and the passive type as d that is they are aiming to draw and based on their types uh, this uh, two different types these two players can have four different uh, type profiles uh, which are given by w w w d d w and d d which and the the uh, meanings are quite uh, if evident now once if, uh, these players have chosen their types uh, the the game actually is uh, dependent on their choices of types so for instance if they both of them are playing aggressively then maybe a specific uh, uh, utility structure is true so they are playing a different game when both of them are playing aggressively under that aggressive mode if they are uh, they choose this action of attacking uh, and defending uh, they might get different utilities so uh, i would not be very much worried about the actual numbers and how you can justify that uh, the whole point that I'm trying to make is based on their type profile, there might be uh, different kinds of utility matrices. That is the whole point of uh, this Bayesian game. Now, um, based on this type profile, since the, uh, the game is changing, and for a specific player, let's say player 1, can only deterministically know whether they are, uh, what their type is, so whether they are W or they are D, that is known so only this component the first component is known to player one and the second component is deterministically known only to player two and not to player one and vice versa so therefore um, uh, this uh, this game is incompletely known by each of these players they do not deterministically know which game they are playing this was quite different from the games that we have discussed before where the game matrix or the game tree was known beforehand for both both these players so this is the incomplete information part so we are going to make a couple of assumptions in this setting uh, we are going to assume that the probabilities of choosing choosing these different games uh, this is chosen by let's say nature and this is coming from a common prior distribution so you can imagine that uh, this uh, whether this will be a game where both players are actually choosing uh, aggressive strategies or one player is choosing aggressive the other player is choosing uh, defensive strategies that is given by some probability distribution over these four type profiles so let's uh, make the things a little formal so a bayesian game is uh, represented by as before certain uh, a couple of few things the first entry is the set of players as uh, as usual the second uh, entry is what we what we are going to call the set of types of player i so theta capital theta i is nothing but the uh, set of types of player i and this is uh, as we have seen in this example that can take certain values and it could be different for different players now the third entry is what we just said uh, this is the common prior distribution over the entire type profile so capital theta is the cartesian product of this individual capital theta i's which means that it is putting some probability uh, distribution over the entire type profile so it, it is going to in uh, if you go back to the previous example it is giving this probability with what probability um, this particular type profile is chosen for instance we, we are also going to put another restriction for this common prior. Uh, we are going to assume that if you take the marginal, so if you just uh, take the sum over this sum over the theta minus size, then what you will get, so this sum, after doing this sum, you will get this marginal P of theta i. We are going to assume that this P of theta i is always positive. What does that mean? It, it just says that the probability of, uh, uh, of choosing, uh, of occurring a specific uh, theta i is positive. Uh, if it is zero, then uh, it means that uh, you, the, the probability, the nature uh, uh, chooses that theta i with probability zero. 
and therefore you can uh, also look at the game by just pruning that particular type from your type set from player eyes type set and nothing will change no properties will change in the in the game so without loss of generality we can assume that this uh, marginals uh, for every theta i uh, is going to be positive now the last entry in this uh, description of bayesian game uh, is uh, nothing but a collection of normal form games so because we have seen that once we choose a specific type profile uh, uh, there is a, a unique game for that that unique normal form game is represented by gamma of uh, gamma of theta so what does that mean it's a normal form game uh, for the type profile theta and uh, this uh, by the standard notation uh, we can uh, show I mean we can write that this uh, gamma of theta is uh, uh, has the same set of players as before its action sets for each of these players could be dependent on theta even though in in this context in this discussion and uh, and later uh, we are all always going to assume that the action set is the same for all uh, uh, type profiles theta so this is this is a simplification However, the utility for every player is uh, very much dependent on this theta. So this uh, you can see that. Uh, uh, so suppose the the theta is actually d comma d uh, in in this uh, context, then the gamma of that theta is nothing but this game that we have written here. So this is uh, this is that normal form game, and we know that if we uh, look at a specific utility of a specific player, let's say player one and at that theta which we have already assumed and if if it is attack comma defense for these two players we know exactly what is the uh, what is the utility so in this case it is going to be this utility for player one so that is uh, represented by this utility uh, function ui it is a mapping from that set of all action uh, action profiles set of action profiles for all these players and also the type profile to the set of real numbers okay so that is the that is the description of the game i hope that it is uh, it uh, makes the the description clear so if we look at the the bayesian game uh, stage by stage uh, so why it is bayesian because you have a bayesian prior and we'll very soon see that what kind of properties we are expecting over this and that has a kind of a, a implication um, uh, from the from the bayes rule so in the Bayesian game, uh, which is an incomplete information game, uh, so there are certain stages that uh, happen uh, one by one. So the first thing is that uh, the type profile is uh, chosen randomly according to that common prior. This is chosen by the nature. Now once this is chosen, each player observes her own type. So this whole vector is realized, but a, a player i only observes its own type, the component i. And then player I picks its action, which is AI, so which is coming from this set capital AI. And once that is chosen, uh, so player I chooses its action AI, the other players are choosing their actions A minus I, and their type profile is given by theta I theta minus I. Uh, player I gets an utility, and every player gets this utility, uh, uh, their corresponding utilities. So that is the, the description of the Bayesian game.